we as Netics Automation are a software company based here in Austria and the format of our customer success stories shall provide to our customers and partners an idea how to realize visualization and control projects using our BMS platform. Special friend welcome to our partner and customer Andre Stefan from Romania. I also can say Andre is a friend of mine and he did a couple of projects in the past using our software and we saw that he did great visualization and functional view as well. Welcome also to Paul Furtak. Hi Paul, who is the owner and the boss of our company. Maybe you can share some welcome notice as well. Thank you very much, Stefan. It was very nice introduction. I would like to also welcome you for this presentation uh, today. And I have to repeat, it's very important to share the information how our software can be used, how our software can be efficient inserted in the project to speed up the realization of the projects, of course, and to provide high-end solution for your end customer. Thank you very much, Stefan. Thank you. As a sales manager of Netis Automation, it's very important for me to have the audience like today uh, to present realized projects. But nevertheless, if you are not familiar with our product, if you are not familiar with our solution, you may any time connect with me, with our entire team. Therefore, also welcome uh, Bernhard Hödel, Juvan Kadas, and Julio Diaz, our uh, colleagues from Spain, India, and here from Austria as well. They also will use uh, the uh, chat. If you have any questions during this presentation, if you have any thoughts, uh, please share your information in the chat so we can reply directly. Uh, you can also uh, add and connect with us anytime to have a deep presentation about our uh, solution, about the pricing, technical advice as well. Uh, because today we will not present you our software. Today the main focus uh, will be in this presentation done from Andre Stefan from the company We Automate, uh, presenting you the hotel project Hotel Caro in Bucharest, as well as a data center project. So for this, uh, he will introduce you to both of the projects between the uh, recorded video where he is presenting the project. Uh, you may then have a short uh, session about questions and answers so we can support you as well. I want to hand over uh, to Andre. Welcome again, Andre, and uh, please present your ideas about the two mentioned projects and give the uh, details uh, to our customers and partners joining this meeting today. Thank you. Thank you, Stefan. Hello, everyone. Thank you very much for coming here, for attending this, uh, this session. I will try to be as, as a fast as I could. I will start, let's say, to introduce a little bit about the first project. And after that, uh, the Netix colleague will, uh, will start the, the video. So extremely simple, the project the first project that I want to show is the, the project which was implemented at least uh, three and a half years ago in Bucharest, Romania. It's a four plus star hotel. Uh, the project was uh, implemented in two stages. First stage, we implemented the guest room management system for 100 rooms, uh, which are divided in three wings. And uh, in the second stage of the project, we implement, let's say, the hallway lighting and HVAC, and also some alerts and, uh, let's say, automation feature for reception and meeting rooms. And in the future, it will be, the, of course, the third and the fourth stage. We will uh, implement another additional uh, 85 rooms in the fourth wings, wing, and also we will integrate everything which is from the, say, auxiliary system side, uh, air handling units, uh, heating pan generators, and uh, another, let's say, different type of technical systems. 
And I think that's all from my side. Please be free to add any question using the private or uh, uh, generalist chat. Also, I'm available using my uh, email and my uh, uh, my phone. Stefan? I just want to add in addition as well uh, that any time uh, you may connect with uh, Andre or with us if you need any uh, support uh, for creating a visualization because many of our customers are very much experienced in the commissioning of the systems and devices uh, but probably need uh, to have some uh, special uh, visualization to have some special information as well okay i uh, want to share the video starting now which is coming now okay please look on it my name is andre and i'm representing the company we automate pro we are locating in romania and also we have presence in italy and gibraltar and we have a lot of projects visualization and integration project based on netix platform and netix mp server uh, our projects are uh, widely distributed in Europe and some projects in Middle East. <clears throat> for today, I am preparing a small presentation for two projects, both projects based on Netix platform. <coughs> one project is for hospitality and the second one is for data center infrastructure management. As you see, um, the projects, both projects are in various industry and for these projects we are using the same platform, Netix BMS platform, which is a very flexible, robust and uh, let's say uh, is offering to us all the tools and the features that are requested in various industry or verticals. For the beginning, I will start with the hospitality project. It's a four star hotel where let's say we integrate um, all automation equipment inside the room based on the Kyanix, based on Modbus and also based about an ocean HTTP protocol also integrated some an ocean devices so as you can see it's a full stack of um, technology and protocols which uh, this project was implemented uh, five years ago and it's working just fine. Uh, we are talking about, let's say, use items around 6,700 6, data points, which are used and 13,600 virtual uh, items. From the visualization perspective, <clears throat> Just let me show how the interface for uh, reception guy is looking. This is the, the first level of visualization where the front office guy can choose, let's say, uh, one specific floor. Let's go to the uh, third floor in this wing. Uh, here on the second level of visualization, you are able to see exactly the status and the alarms for each room. Let's go to one room where, which is free. We can enter. Here you can see some information which are coming uh, from Fidelio Opera using Netix standard integration find Fidelio interface, check in, check out date, room cleaning status and uh, so on. And also the guest name here. You have so all information regarding the heating, cooling and let's say everything which is related to the alarms and warnings reported by the heating and cooling uh, systems also you can play with the lights you can activate deactivate the do not disturb and make my room also here you can see if the guest has reported some issues regarding the cleaning or the let's say technical stuff and so on and of course some basic information about the room controller and sos sensor window sensor and other stuff. As you can see, it's very easy to navigate from one room to another, to another. And also it's very, very, very easy, let's say, <coughs> to navigate from one wing to another. Another thing, we have a special feature which is calling building health. It's, let's say, operational uh, report for the maintenance team 
where they can see if are some technical issue regarding the HVAC and lights <coughs> all over the, the wings and the, the rooms. Of course, a lot of trendings and a lot of alarms are implementing. Let's go to trendings. Okay. The trendings are structured on for each room, uh, which wing and which floor. Let's go to floor one. Okay, and here the, the trendings are structured, let's say, on various systems or let's say, let's go and see uh, the temperature inside one room. Okay, let's go in this room. You see how the trends are defined, the parameters, and we can display the raw data or if you want, we can show let's say the, the graph itself <clears throat> uh, one important thing uh, we are using for this project we are using standard Microsoft SQL database which for our needs and for our customer and customer needs is, is just fine we are keeping all the data let's say for six months after that the data are automatically raised based on the metric standard let's say uh, mechanism um, very smooth, very, very nice integration, very nice visualization. Um, also, the front office, a nice, another, another nice feature. The front office guy can choose and set globally the set point during the summer and winter mode on both, let's say, uh, room scenarios. Room is free and room is uh, occupied. So everything, including the alarms, are very nice, very easy to be implemented and to be used. Thank you very much, guys. Okay, this was the first part, uh, the Hotel Caro in Bucharest. And you have seen that Andre uh, has implemented uh, many different protocols and systems to one platform, uh, as well as he could manage by uh, using, which I have mentioned also in the chat, uh, variables and templates, uh, very fast commissioning. Uh, so most important, if you are starting with your project, that you should uh, focus on uh, good structuring by connecting the different systems. And in our system, you also will see the option of having uh, uh, the templates and variables to create fast uh, functions like scheduling, alarming, trending and reporting but also to create fast uh, visualization clients for each individual room in the hotel project. The last development of our company in the hotel uh, system was to provide also my smart suite solution, which gives the hotel guest the option uh, to use the private smartphone to control the hotel room. So also in this regard, uh, we can give you uh, more detailed information anytime in uh, direct meetings as well. Uh, the next project, which will be shared and maybe introduced with uh, one slide as well, uh, will be a data center project, which was realized as well from Andre, uh, having a different approach, having completely different visualization as well. And you will see again uh, that our software provides you uh, the editor where you can freely design any uh, available visualization design as well. Okay, I give back to Andre, maybe with one slide to give you some details about the next project and then we will share the video again. Hello again. So thank you very much, Stefan. For the second project, Exactly how Stefan has mentioned earlier, uh, we use a different approach. Uh, we, together with our partner Tema Energy from Romania, we took the decision to develop not like a custom project for a particular project or a particular customer. We took the decision to develop a solution <coughs> on top of the Netix uh, platform. Why we took the, this decision? Because Let's say our partner Tema Energy, which is let's say specialized in data center implementation all over the Eastern Europe, they saw the opportunity, let's say, to develop for themselves a product, a solution 
which is powerful enough to, to, to talk with various field devices which are installed in, in, uh, in data center and also which can provide, uh, let's say, a 3D and nice looking visualization. So this is not a custom implementation. This is a product developed on top of the Netflix platform. Uh, usually we, we try to cover all type of equipment that are present in the data center, not let's say the, only the main one like uh, UPSs, like HVAC, APD and, and power distribution units. We try also to cover, let's say, the uh, fire detect system, the alarm system, and also the access control and the CCTV. And uh, of course, uh, we are more than happy with this approach because we developed last year this solution. And since now we already have implemented this platform, this product in four sites. So it's a successful story and we encourage you to develop, to have the same approach. If you identify a need on the market, please use Netix platform and develop a custom, let's say, product uh, on top of the Netix platform. That's it from uh, my side, Stefan. You can take control. Okay, so we will start the second part of uh, the presentation, which is focusing on the data center project video as well. It's starting again. Project, as I mentioned earlier, we will present to you a data center infrastructure management system. Uh, it's our product developed together with another company. And uh, for this project, uh, we are using again Netix BMS platform. Um, it's a full stack technology project. Again, it's uh, the lights are controlled by KNX, uh, the, let's say the UPSs and the gen sets and everything like that are controlling using the Modbus uh, TCP and RTU protocols. And a lot of um, power distribution unit, uh, UPSs and things like that are uh, integrated via SNMP uh, protocol. Okay, a very short presentation. Uh, it's a very easy uh, interface, which was developed by us using the Netflix VMS platform. Uh, you can navigate extremely easy. Let's say we are going to one uh, gen set. Here on the second level, we can see, let's say, basic information about the gen set together with some graphs. Okay. If we are interested in more, more detailed parameters, just click and uh, here you are able to see everything which is related to the engine, everything which is related to the, let's say, system events, alarms and warnings, of course. Let's go to another type of equipment. Let's say, let's go to one UPS. Of course, some basic parameters again for the UPS, go in details. <clears throat> All UPS detail information, this one is disconnected. Let's go to the second one. And here we can see also a schematic and a lot of warnings and uh, statuses for this generator, this UPS. Sorry about that. Let's switch to the HVAC cluster. <clears throat> I can choose one HVAC in particular, let's say this one. Okay, all parameters regarding to HVAC, including set point, uh, temperature, alarms, warnings, running hours, and some graphs are displayed in a very nice and fashion manner. Let's go to, um, uh, let's say, to the one electrical panel. Okay. Again, some electrical parameters are displayed. If you want more details, we are going to the level three of visualization. And here you can see also we can monitor the breakers and all the electrical parameters, the power, the voltage, the current, the power factor, and of course the frequency. All these nice features are very easy to be implemented using the Netix BMS platform, of course. If you want to see, let's say, um, some alarms, we define here some some nice option for a centralized alarm, alarm system for the DCIM solution. Here you can see some heating map and power map 
as you can see here for uh, this is the thermal view you can switch to the power view if you want first let me close this one now we are in power view now we are in thermal view and you see the the graphs the colors the power heat map and the racks are changing accordingly okay um let's go a little bit um, it's very easy to integrate alarms very easy to integrate trendings and so on regarding the trendings the same very easy to be integrated <clears throat> okay let's go to one trend, trend generator and you see here we have two generators defined and we monitor this parameter battery voltage engine rpm engine temperature and fuel level let's go to the battery voltage again we can see the raw data here this is a demo instance so it's a little bit slow today the computer so battery voltage is flat around 12.3 volts and if you want to see the plot it's very easy very nice okay nice so <laughs> this is let's say a basic presentation uh, which uh, it's made to show to you how easy it is to integrate various type of equipment from various industry and at the same time to offer a very nice powerful modern let's say visualization platform that's all from from my side thank you very much for your time have a nice day okay this was the second part of the uh project presentation of Andre as well. So you may uh, now have uh, a brief session about questions and answers. Uh, I did not see any uh, question as of now in the chat. Uh, maybe uh, Andre, you can uh, still add some uh, notes about uh, the past experience you had with Netex because I met you the first time, I think in Istanbul, seven years ago. Uh, yes. Okay, <laughs> you did a very nice and uh, successful projects in these years. Uh, can you okay. give some feedback? Uh, and I also I want to mention for all of the participants of this session, uh, you may directly connect with Andre if you need uh, advice, support to create visualization, because he did already in the past a project in Qatar, a project in uh, France as well. Where in, he Denmark. Supported, in, in Denmark as well, where he supported our customers remotely to create visualization, uh, to organize the functional view of the software itself. Because as I told you at the beginning, uh, many of the uh, system integrators are very well experienced in integration and commissioning of the systems, but need maybe some advice in the creation of the visualization as well. Yes. Uh, um, yeah. So we started with Netix around seven years ago, and uh, when we choose this platform, let's say we we we, we let's say we uh, analyze almost all BMS platform available on the market, and our let's say main criteria to choosing the BMS platform, the main let's say criteria as to why you choose the Netix platform was first the platform should be available to integrate or support any kind of devices, equipment available on the market from various industries. So that was, let's say, the first, the first, uh, the first criteria. The second one, and uh, using this, uh, this uh, 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 to answer to Marco, Marco had, uh, sent me a, a question a few minutes ago. Uh, he asked me, how in the DCIM solution I implemented the small fancy graphs. So the easy, this is the second reason that we chose Netix because we, we, we want, we need at that time a solution that is capable, let's say, to support any kind of third party plugins developed by us or developed by, let's say, by third party, it doesn't matter. And in this, uh, in this case, Marco, the the graphs the small trending not nice looking graphs yes was a uh, is a uh, third party plugin developed by us and in the let's say we have also we have a lot of projects uh, with our partner tema for the railway industry 
in the railway industry, also we develop another plugins for, let's say, integrating video cameras, live streaming video cameras directly in the netics, visualization, and so on. So this was um, this was uh, the second reason. The third reason is exactly in how many, let's say, minutes, hours the, the support team is answering to your need. And uh, this is the, the third reason that we choose Netix because every, let's say, critical or low or medium priority, let's say, request bug, we get answered within, let's say, 24 hours. In some cases, most of the cases in within hours, in two or three hours. But in our case, because we are developing and we are entering so deep in the Netix features, we need quick answer because, as Stefan mentioned, Netix, it's it's a powerful tool. It's easy to learn, easy to implement, extremely powerful. But the most important thing, based on our experience, and I will finish with the, with, the, with this my let's say my my speech, is how you structure, how you how you play with let's say so so powerful instruments which are available in Netflix. I'm talking about virtual items. I'm talking about aliases, and I'm talking about Xlogix comments. If you if you know exactly how to to structure and to your project, uh, uh, your project for sure, uh, 100% is, uh, is it will be a successful one because Netix is a, it's a powerful engine, a powerful car. You know how just to structure, how to structure, uh, let's say, your project. Stefan? Uh, thank you, Andre. Uh... Nice compliments for our company, nice compliment for our products as well. Uh, and as you have informed, uh, got the information of Andre as well, uh, he's doing some further customization development based on our Netix BMS platform solution on our Netix multi-protocol server. So we always focus on open standards on the field and automation level. We also have open standards to communicate to third party applications on the management level, but we also are open uh, to do any additional integration and development together with our partners to optimize the solution according to the needs. So if any one of you needs uh, support directly from Netix Automation, you see on the screen, uh, our contact details as well, uh, as well as you see uh, the contact details from Andre. So you also can directly get in contact if you have some ideas, if you need some advice, uh, he can support you as well. He can directly communicate with you if any further development is needed. Okay, you may ask any further questions now. Uh, I think the presentation, in my opinion, was very successful. Uh, it was a pleasure to have uh, 40 participants of more than 15 countries in this meeting as well. The video will be shared on our website as well as on our YouTube channel. And all of the participants will get uh, uh, email notice as well with the direct links. Okay. Yes, and I, Stefan, I, I would like to add another thing. So, regarding our past experience with the DCIM project, if, let's say, other partner from the Netix ecosystem has, let's say, some ideas which, let's say, solution can be transformed very quick in a product. Uh, I'm talking about, let's say, uh, greenhouse monitoring. I'm talking, let's say, about, let's say, emergency lightning or whatever for the airports. Maybe we can make let's say, a discussion or a topic list about that and we can share our experience together with you because at the end of the day, if in within the Netix community, partner community, if you are developing a DCIM solution, a greenhouse solution or whatever Rix product, this community and the Netix will be much stronger against, let's say, our competition. This is my belief. This is also the idea we have as Netix Automation. Uh, and also there was one question in the chat asking about API integration. Uh, yes, uh, for sure there are also options available using RESTful API, uh, .NET API or others uh, to integrate uh, your own development uh, easily uh, also to our multi-protocol server or our BMS platform. If you need technical advice, please let us know. And as Andre has already told, uh, 
one of our main goals and uh, reason of success is that we try to give maximum support to any of our customers. Okay, so anything else to add from the chat? Plugins, yes. Okay, so from my opinion, thank you very much for joining this presentation. I wish you a good day and hope to see you soon in uh, further formats with Netix Automation as well and to get information about your needed uh, products and hearing about new projects. Andre, thank you. It uh, was a pleasure as Welcome. usual. All the best. Bye. Bye-bye.